What is up, fellow YouTubers? I want to give a shout out to Jake. He's one of my fans here in town. A pretty cool dude. Um, he saw me walking down the street. He's like, bud, you look like you're having a bad day. And truth be told, I really, 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 I wasn't having a bad day. Just dealing with stupid shit. But that's kind of every day for most of us. Also, I want to give a shout out to Banjo Bill. These are a couple of my fans here in town that watch my videos. Appreciate the support. So you know what my fan does? He's like, well, here, I have a free pack of cigarettes. And um, I didn't beg for him, you know. It was a nice gesture, and it was greatly appreciated. So I got a free pack of Winston's. Yeah. No additives, baby. Mm. There's a reason why I like the taste of a Winston over a Marlboro, and that's just because Winston doesn't have any additives. It tastes more tobacco-y, if that makes any sense. And it's still going to kill me, but at least there's no additives. Winston tastes like a... Winston should. How about a Winston break, Bond? <laughs> That's a good cigarette, friend. Uh, yeah, back when, um, back when they used to feature these in a Flintstones commercial. Yeah. Because see, back in the day, you could advertise cigarettes and alcohol everywhere nobody gave a fuck but these days these days people are a bit more particular on where you advertise alcohol and tobacco i mean it's kind of like okay kids see their parents smoking and drinking so you try to act like you're you're gonna hide it from your kids like dude don't bullshit me It's just me, but if I catch my kids smoking a cigarette, I want to make them smoke a fat-ass, nasty cigar. Make them blue in the fucking gills from smoking. And be like, oh, you want to smoke, huh? Okay. Here you go. Smoke up. Can't fucking see you. They won't do it again. Be like, all right. That's a bit more old school, but some people be like, oh, that's fucked. Because here's the thing of it. Telling kids you shouldn't do it. I mean, come on. How far does that really go? We were all kids once. How far does that really go? And keep in mind, stinky ass cigars are a lot harsher than a cigarette. A lot harsher. And if they're just barely getting used to a cigarette, they go to rip a monster cigar, let alone finish it. I can't fucking see you if they ain't puking their guts out. They're coughing their asses off going, why the fuck does he do that? You ask why I smoke cigarettes, because it relieves my stress. With the Asperger's, the nicotine actually releases dopamine in my brain. And compared to Zoloft and Ritalin, they all have side effects, dude. But, um... I mean, you'd be sitting there like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, truth be told, I haven't had a bad day today. Just um, 
dealing with a lot of stupid bullshit and some of it was kind of my fault, I'm not going to lie. I also got a notice from UPS, which they don't deliver on the weekends, as far as I know. So I'll have to wait till Monday to see what the fuck it is. Uh, no idea what it could be. Hopefully it's something cool like them gauntlets, y'all, yeah, because them gauntlets are pretty sick. Gauntlets, you say? Yes. Whew. And the fan sent me a pretty sweet um uh gothic accessory. If you will. And I'll put them on for the video here right quick. I mean they're kind of once you get them started, you know, the first couple of... There we go, there's one. Yeah, I've done I've done a lot of heavy thinking today. Facebook and YouTube and social media, and I've just gotta ask myself that one question. Why what the fuck's wrong with our society anymore? Like, we got segways, which is the epitome of lazy. Like, I get it, it's cool technology, but why? And then you got these cups that stir the drink for you, which is great if you have arthritis and you can't pick up the fork or the spoon or the chopstick and stir it yourself. I get that. But getting a self-stirring, uh, a, look, getting a self-stirring drink cup thing is just... When you're perfectly capable of doing it yourself, it's just the epitome of lazy. It really is. And when, what, what, what do people do when they say, when you tell them that? Like, like, dude, you don't have arthritis. Why the fuck do you need a self-stirring cup? Because technology's cool, man. Or because you're too goddamn lazy to pick up a fucking spoon and do it yourself? Jesus fucking Christ. Now, I could sit there, I could definitely see how, you know, like, okay, a self-stirring cup, that serves some purpose. It helps people who have a hard time stirring their drinks. I get that. That's cool. That's inventive. That's, you know what I'm saying? But buying something like that because you can, because you think it's cool technology, I mean, I get that, but it just makes you lazy, dude. Call what it is, but you know it's the truth, dude. And maybe I'm not looking at it from the right angle, dude, because when I see in the video on Facebook, it's the newest thing. Oh, look, it's a drink that stirs itself. You can pour your drink in the cup and blah blah blah. Okay, 
The technology is not relatively new. We have the same thing with those suckers. And then as a 90s kid, I can remember growing up, you get a sucker on one of those rotating motherfuckers and, you know what I'm saying, you lick it without having to actually put too much effort into it. So it's the same concept as that, basically. The rotating lollipop stick. I mean, it's the same concept. But when you're a kid, it's one thing. It's understandable. But when you're a grown-ass adult, like, hypothetical, let's say my pipe tool was a spoon and this had a drink in it. How hard it would, would it be to do this? Seriously, how hard is that? I took like, oh wow, three, se three, four seconds. Ooh, that took like three to four seconds. Oh my goodness. But I'm not just going to do a badass video giving my fans Jake and Banjo Bill a shout out. Uh, mm, excuse me. I'm also going to make a burger. What's going on in this burger? We got burger patty, we got egg, we got curly fries. Simple, short, sweet, to the point. Okay, there's like a few pieces left, so I ate the other one. Fuck it. Bop. Give it a light sprinkle. And you use a slight sprinkle for both sides. There we go. Just a little bit of Tony's. Now, I made this burger for Facebook Live before, so it's not, it's not going to be anything too terribly new, but it's still going to be good.
doing fry ass with just a little bit of Tony's. that patty with just a little bit of that Tony's and like I said you don't need that much to put on there just a little bit Oh yes, Arby's makes their curly fries for the frozen section at your local grocery store. What a time, what a time. Mm. These suckers are fresh out of the microwave. Mm. Cooked all the way through. Go bowl this small like two minutes and 34 seconds. To be fair, my microwave is very powerful. Arby's curly fries are dank. Mm. I am going to leave a little bit for the um, sandwich here, but it would come if he's cool off. They're so good, though. Do a little bit 
the snacking while we're grilling. Or cooking, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This will give us a little bit of curly fries to put on top of our sandwich. Mm. And it really don't matter what you use for your sandwich, YouTube. You can use Texas toast. You can use burger patties. As long as you got some sort of bread between a burger patty. It still technically counts as a burger, even if you don't put cheese on it. for too much longer because I do like my patty meat to be a little bit pink in the middle but that's just my personal preference. Vegan, that's probably you don't like the smell of beef, right? So, pardon me for stepping off camera for a second there, uh, Facebook and YouTube, but I work my magic here. Hold on a second. Here's a little life hack. Cook your burger patty before you cook your egg. The grease from the burger will keep your egg from sticking and it'll add flavor to it. I'm just saying, YouTube, cook your burger patty before you cook your egg for this recipe. Grease from that burger patty will keep your egg from sticking and you'll add delicious flavor to your sunny side egg. Just smack you upside the head, that's how good it is. Uh, uh, uh. Of course, you've seen me make a sunny side egg before on YouTube. It's challenging as fuck, but there's a lot of things that could go wrong. You won't crack the egg in the pan just right. You're, Egg will burst open. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. As it starts to firm up. <coughs> I'll adjust it. On the pan. I'll tell you what, YouTube, this here burger is almost done. It don't take much. You don't wanna, if you don't want to add cheese, you really don't have to. But to be quite frank, I'm out, so I'm making the best of what I got.
Yeah, I'm about to flip this egg over onto its other side and make it a poached egg. That shit sounds good as fuck right now. to cook on one side until all the yolk is white, or not the yolk, but the whites are all white, and flip it over and let it cook for a little bit. On the other side. Ah, oh yeah. but it's not completely poached. And this is what we're working with so far. I got a little sunny side poached egg on top of that burger patty. Nice toasted bun action. But hold on, we ain't done with this shit yet. We got curly fries and maybe some spicy brown mustard to it. Mayo. Yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take them curly fries we were snacking on earlier and um, go ahead and stick those on top of, the, of that poached egg. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Get on there. Oh, yeah. Get on there, you bastard. And I didn't poach the egg last time I made it. So this might... Hang on, it probably tastes the same, but... Okay. Just to give our sandwich some some uh, flavor, kind of consistency to like an egg salad sort of, I guess. I mean, it's got it'll have a consistency like egg salad when it, you get the mustard and the mayonnaise added to it. But the burger meat and the egg and the curly fry will give it, you know, this ought to be really good. I didn't actually try putting these condiments last time I I did this fucking sandwich, but let's but we'll give it give her a try. Mm. Oh yeah. You already know Kraft makes the best mayo. I don't even gotta spell it out for you, you already know. Oh what, you like craft? Is that why you practice witchcraft? <laughs> now what I practice is what I practice is something much more powerful than witchcraft. So I'm going to take our mayo and we're going to spread it all over the top of our bun there. We're going to add some mustard to it. Mm. Oh. A little french fry trying to escape. We got some Frenchies horseradish mustard. Spicy brown mustard. Now we're talking. So if you want to put like a little bit of heat to your burger, here you go. A Tony seasoning and the spicy horseradish mustard. That's not going to be stupid dumb hot, but it'll be enough to put a little bit of tingle on your tongue. Okay, there we go. Got the mustard on there just like that. Beautiful. Let me crown this bastard. And the cool thing about poaching your egg is it keeps the yolk from busting out as soon as you crown it. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
There's nothing like you put a, a sunny side egg on a burger. That's a classic, dude. But like you poach the egg and it keeps the yolk from breaking open all over your sandwich, so it makes it less messy. I mean, Okay, and here's the thing of it. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's simple. It's not overdone. Um, if I were to have like a, maybe like a little bit of Swiss cheese for this, but that's all right. This is your basic breakfast burger. It's not overdone. Um, use whatever cheese you want or no cheese. It don't. It don't matter. But oh yeah, let's give this a go, shall we? Well, the eggs still burst open, but that's all right. Mm-hmm. Here's the yolk bursting out onto the plate. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's a pretty good sandwich, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Is that nice gnarly cross section? Yeah. Yo. I'm surprised Arby's hasn't started doing stuff like this. Because, um, yo, Arby's. The curly fries on this or a nice touch. Mm. I mean, it's not the same as like I normally film my cooking videos, but it works. Like I said, the egg drips onto the plate. Let's take your bread, scoop it up. Mm. And if you haven't put egg on your burger, you're missing out. That's so good. Mmm. You know what's good when I clean the plate. That was a pretty good burger, y'all. Ah. Oh, yeah. Breakfast curly fry burger. There you go. Now I tend to go with um, a uh, a more uh, a lean content in my beef. But granted, yeah, fattier beef does taste good, but it's not exactly very healthy for you. I tend to go for beef that's more lean in content. I think it tastes better. That's just my personal opinion. 
some of you may disagree and say, well, uh, I think the fattier stuff tastes good. Well, you, you're entitled to your opinion, but it's more lean in protein and than it is if it's higher in lean in protein than it is fat, and it's going to be better for you in the long run. I know it washed that burger down just perfect, like I've been showing you right here. A nice cold glass of metal gold, 2%, baby. Now, when it comes to dairy products, you gotta trust metal gold. They make delicious products. Their eggnog is exquisite around the holidays. So not only is that burger delicious, but it's also a good source of protein. You got the egg, you got the beef, and a little bit of greasiness from the burger and the curly fries to give it that, you know, don't really do anything but make it taste good. I'm gonna wash it out right quick. I'll be right back. Oh man, that was good. I guess I would classify myself as a burger chef. I mean, cheeseburgers and pizza are like my top two favorite foods. I'm just saying like, oh, there is nothing tastier than some good old American made beef. Ground up from the sweat and hard work from other fine folks in this country. This always has been done. Ha, ah, Winston's are made in Salem, Massachusetts. I like that. But anyways, this is my uh, breakfast curly fry burger, and um, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.